Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Fandom. Fun. Funny. Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Shoot, pop out, pop out, ping, 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 It's time for Kitsy's Paranormal Update. <laughs> How was that? That was the best one yet. Did I am I, not even kidding right now. I, I'm working hard because it's October. So you know, it's, we got to have an extra spook at everything we do. Yeah. Okay. It was totally there. Oh, thank so you. this week I have a true crime slash paranormal in the news. Ooh, ooh, okay. So this, you know, this covers everything that you do because you have audi- oddity much. files, which is all the paranormal stuff. And then mm-hmm. you've got Miss Murder, which is the true crime about bitches be crazy. Yes. Now here we are bringing it all together. And we just relaunched the Get Scared podcast, oh! which is all things creepy. Yes. Yay. All right. Let's get to Thank this. Thank God for Jana. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Producer Jana, thank you. I know you're contractually obligated not to speak right now, but thank you for all you do. Yes. One million percent. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of nerdy as in Netflix, Netflix just dropped a brand new docu-series called The Family Next Door. It's about the Watts family murders. I won't get too into the details. It was a horrible crime. Dad killed the pregnant wife, two of his girls under the age of six, I believe. So anyway, all that. It's terrible. It's sad. If you're into that thing, check out the documentary. It's all up on Netflix. But the big talk in the paranormal world right now is, I guess there's a lot of police body cam footage in this documentary. So as they're checking out the house, you see what the police officers are seeing. And a couple times they're like, oh, this could be a ghost in the mirror. No, it's not. It's a police officer. All the, the ghosts they think they saw are, are very, very debunkable. Okay. But those of you who know what an EVP is, mm-hmm. they get lots of those. And those of you that don't, it's an electronic voice phenomenon where it captures spirit voices. Allegedly, we don't know. It could be anything but I know their spirit voices. So the first one they show is these cops going into this fabulous pink closet with a bazillion high heels. I'm so jealous of that closet. But as they're walking in, they hear a a little girl giggle. And both of the the officers hear it. And they look at each other and go, did you hear that? And they're like, yeah, there has to be a toy in this closet. That's, they're the canine union canine unit. So you hear the dog panting the entire time, but they go in, they can't find a, they thought they had stepped on a toy that made the giggle and they couldn't find it anywhere. And they were both visibly shaken by this little girl's giggle. And then you go into so many other, I don't know if you call them scenes or whatever they are, but Mm -hmm. where you hear the voices um, of female voices of what sounds like this wife saying that they need help and that they're there. And it, oh. it's heartbreaking one, paranormal wise, it's riveting. But I found something on YouTube. I'm not going to plug the guy who put it out because he's really annoying. But if you search <laughs> for EVPs uh, for the Watts family murders on Netflix, you should be able to find it. But my mind was blown. Wow. Well, yeah, when you were talking about EVPs, I thought it was going to be something like when they played the footage back, there was a laugh, but it was, it, it was heard by two police officers yes. for real. Wow. Yeah, but all the other ones were that situation where they didn't hear it when it happened, but when they played back the footage, they did hear it. So wow. it's, I, I guess it's the, just a VP when everybody hears it because it's, there's no electronic in there. So. Do you? Do real time. You- Do you hear, would you say, do you hear as much without the EVP or do you still, when you're investigating, is the EVP the the bigger way that that you're getting communication? So 
I get a lot through a spirit box, which I don't consider an EVP. An EVP to me is you're sitting in a quiet room, you play back the recording and you hear a voice. Okay. The spirit box, which is what I use, is, is real time. You've been around a spirit box session. Oh, yes. So you ask a question and they respond back to you. I don't really consider that an EVP. I'm just, I'm just calling that a conversation. I hear more with my own ears than we capture you know, standard EVP style where you go back and you hear it. But the ones that we do, we did, we have gotten were like, oh my God. Like it's, it's, there's one we got at Octagon Hall where it's a little girl with a little speech impediment. And that's allegedly one of the ghosts that haunts there is a little girl. And she said, do you have any cards for me? And I was like, well, we weren't playing cards. So wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's, wow. it's just blows my mind. Yeah. So because I am, you know, the worst about Halloween, I've gotten better about spooky things, but I still kind of stay yeah. away from the, the scary, the scary movies. I, you know, I don't know why real stuff doesn't scare me. Like when you talk about, you know, this kind of like capturing actual spirits and stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. That doesn't bug me at all. But then somebody wants me to watch the grudge and I'm like, are you crazy? You know, you know I'm the same way. <laughs> Going into, uh, this, is, this is our first episode in October. Are there must-see movies that you put on your list in October that you would recommend to someone who is, is looking to have a little horror in their life? This Hocus Pocus, Beetlejuice, all the fun stuff. Those are my favorites. I'm not into the blood and gore. I'm really not. I like the fun, the witches and the Beetlejuice, which is ghosts. Do you think about it? Yeah. Do you know I've never seen Hocus Pocus? I just saw it for the first time last year. Really? And I am, I'm an addict. Absolutely. It's so much fun. It, does it hold up? No, not really. Okay. Because it was made in late 80s, early 90s. I mm -hmm. mean, like the clothing and stuff is very like friends, okay. but the witches I mean, it's freaking Bette Midler. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that, well, that was my holdup. I was like, is it going to, as someone who didn't see it when it was out, is it, it when I watch it, am I going to end up loving it as much as everyone else? Because yes. I mean, I am getting, I'm getting tore up in the kind of nerdy network because I've never seen Hocus Pocus. And I'm like, I, I don't know what I, I was too. doing when it came out, but I wasn't. We were grownups. <laughs> Everybody oh, else was true. kids still. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and we were grownups without kids at that point. I mean, exactly. I'm, I'm still exactly. a grown up without kids, but when I want to see a kid's thing, I take my nephews. Where we, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we were, I don't know, we, what were we in our drinking and going to bars phase? Probably. Okay, probably. So now, yeah. Right. Just about. The boys were way more important than watching a Disney film. For sure. For sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kitsy, uh, can you let us know all the places that we can find you besides the kind of nerdy girls? All the stuff and all the things. I've got a TV show on Amazon Prime, which this is prime time to watch it and tell your friends about it. It's called Oddity Files. I also have a podcast called The Same Thing. It's me and my friend Nick, where we're we pretty much are laughing the whole time, but we're there to talk about the paranormal. Miss Murder is a true crime podcast. It's my friend Heather and I, where we talk about women and only women who kill. And our motto is bitches be crazy because, well, it's true. And then, like I said, we just launched the Get Scared, relaunched the Get Scared podcast. Thanks to producer Jana for kicking me in the ass and getting that thing going. Woohoo! All right. Thank you, Kitsy. Thank you for having me again. I love you guys. That's been Paranormal in the News with Kitty Duncan.